Hello. I cannot tell my audio is working. And my camera keeps dropping. How's it going, folks? I hope you can hear me. Could somebody uh, leave a message on there that they that they can hear me? Okay, awesome. Good to know. My headphones don't seem to be working so well. But thank you for coming today. My name is H. Joseph Erm, and I'm with Fresh Victor, and I'm going to show you a few different cocktails that highlight our products. Um, I posted them today, the recipes, hopefully you got a chance to see those and get some in ingredients to uh, work with us and, and make the drinks yourselves. But uh, let's get started. We're going to first go with the Ward 8. Um, this is a, a good demonstration of a one-to-one -one ratio on our recipe list. You can see right here we've got our lemon sour and if you didn't get a chance to buy some Fresh Victor beforehand, you can go to shop.freshvictor.com or just freshvictor.com and find your way to the shopping page. Use the discount code of FV2021 and you'll get 21% off shipped direct to your house with free shipping. I'm going to start with our Fresh Victor Jigger, which is a fun jigger because it has three ounces on one side and an ounce and a half on the other. <clears throat> and that is our standard two to one ratio. So three ounces of Fresh Victor Mexican Lime and Agave, ounce and a half of tequila, you've got a perfect margarita. What I'm gonna be working on today, uh, with this one is a one to one ratio, so we're gonna go with two ounces of Fresh Vector Lemon Sour. And I apologize for any background noise, I'm here at my bar Elixir in San Francisco and we are actually open for business and service, so you might, may hear some service going on in the background. So on top of that, two ounces, I'm going to use another double gold award winning product. Um, besides our Fresh Victor, this is the Whistle Pig Pigback Six Year Rye, a delicious rye whiskey created by my good friend Dave Pickerel, RIP Dave, we miss you buddy. On top of that, I'm going to add a quarter ounce of grenadine. You want to use a nice high quality grenadine syrup. I'm using Giffard today. This is one of my favorites. I'm just going to put a touch, just that 20 quarter ounce in there. And that is just going to get shaken with some ice. I'm using my modern mixology shaker. Thank you, Tony. You can pick up some of Tony's tools at themodernmixologist.com. Get a discount by using the discount code Elixir VIP. Tony will give you some bucks off of that. I'm going to pour that short and over. Just shook that up with some ice. Strain that and a nice bucket glass, really simple. And I'm gonna put a little maraschino cherry on here. This is a Luxardo maraschino cherry today. Just put that right in there and boom. How gorgeous is that? Super easy. Oh, delicious, makes that rye whiskey shine. Right on to our next drink. This is gonna be the Palm Paloma. This is my twist on a Paloma, and it's going to feature our cactus pear and pomegranate. This is my uh, kind of my go to, I think, probably our most versatile product in our whole lineup. It's just got these delicious fruit notes from the cactus pear and, and combined with the, that kind of tartness from the pomegranate. Uh, perfectly sweet and really well balanced. It works with unaged spirits and aged spirits, another double gold award winning product right here and with this I'm going to build this cocktail. Nick, you give me some salt. Um, I'm going to build this in a chimney glass here and I'm going to use two ounces of cactus pear and pomegranate. Give us that nice fruit flavor. The, that's good, thank you. The tequila I'm using today is one of my favorites for a long time, El Tesoro Blanco. This is a 
silver award winner last year, um, one of Carlos Camarena's babies. I've been selling this, and pouring this since 1992 in Washington, D.C. I started pouring this. I'm going to put an ounce and a half to two ounces of tequila in here. Personally, I like two ounces of tequila, but that range works well for getting lots of nice agave flavor. And a good blanco. You can use a reposado as well. Either, either will work. Uh, so that is going to get some ice on top of it so I can get that liquid volume balanced so I know exactly how much space I've got in there. And then I'm going to top that off. Actually, I'm going to throw a pinch of salt in there. And uh, I think you got a lime wedge over there. I'm going to top that off with some Q grapefruit soda. Really like the Q line of stuff. I've got a bunch of Q with me today that I'm going to use. This grapefruit soda is delicious. It's nice and dry. Uh, it's not that big kind of fruit bomb uh, of, a, of a sugar bomb with some of the grapefruit soda. So it works really well to balance a, a nice adult cocktail. I'm just going to top that real nice and simple. And this is going to give you all those classic tequila grapefruit notes of a Paloma with the added fruit from cactus pear of pomegranate. And I'm going to give it a little bright twist of wedge of lime on there. Mix that in a little bit and boom. Pompaloma. Oh, that's a good drink. I drank those all summer long. That was definitely my drink of the summer 2020. Moving right along, we're going to go to the Mexican lime and agave. This is the classic. This is the workhorse of cocktails between that and our lemon sour, right? You got a lemon sour and a lime sour. With those two, you can make so much. All of the rest of our Fresh Victor products have some lemon and lime citrus base to them. Everything is sweetened with nothing but organic cane sugar and organic agave nectar and or, depending on the product. All of our products are 100% natural, nothing artificial, no preservatives, totally clean label, actually refrigerated fresh juice. If it's not refrigerated, it's not fresh. Remember that. It it's, could be made with fresh juice, but it's not fresh juice. That's the big differentiator for Fresh Victor. We make making cocktails really easy by giving you delicious fresh mixes right out of the bottle. We're gonna go on to this next one, which is a, a bit of an homage to my friend Dale DeGroff, a lot of our friends. And uh, this is a, an Añejo highball. And we're gonna use just about three quarters of an ounce of Mexican lime and agave. So that is right there on this trigger. And this one's gonna have a nice big hit of rum. And I'm using another winner from the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. This is a double gold award winning rum from last year. This is the Plantation Haimaka, I believe is how they pronounce it. <laughs> Jamaican rum, absolutely delicious. And to this, I'm gonna put one and a half ounces into my shaker. Then I'm gonna put two dashes of the Groff's bitters which I have here in a dropper bottle, actually. And ice that up. And I'm gonna put right that, just keep that a little swish around like that. I'm gonna put that right in my service glass. You can put that in a, it's a high ball. You can put it in a tall glass. I'm putting it in a short glass today. I kind of like it like that. And then this is going to get some ginger beer on it. And I'm using another Q product here, the Q Light Ginger Beer. This is really nice. Again, Q's products have always been pretty dry. Um, to have this light with lower calorie, lower sugar helps make a drink that is better for you. Just like all of our fresh, natural, juice-based, all-natural cocktail mixers, I like to use other ingredients of high quality that are better for you than a lot of the other stuff on the market. So. We're going to top that off with some ginger beer, give that some nice, crisp, sharp spice. Give that a bit of a stir. There we go. And I'm not going to garnish that. That's this beautiful, unusual old fashioned, right out of Dale's. I mean, this is out of Dale's, first of all. Mm. 
great rum cocktail. Moving right along, we have the Thorn of the Rose. This is one of a series of sparkling wine cocktails that I put together. Um, and this one I'm highlighting for uh, Valentine's Day this weekend, the Thorn of the Rose. And the Thorn comes from a jalapeno. This is our Mex uh, Mexican lime base. Um, it's the jalapeno lime, and it's got lots of nice pepper kick to it. This is a very simple build. I'm going to build this right into a flute. And when I make these sparkling cocktails, the formula that I've, I've realized works really well is two ounces of fresh victory to four ounces of, of uh, wine. So if you can get that two ounces going at the bottom and have everything nice and cold, of course, your sparkling wine is always going to be coming from the fridge, so it's good and cold. And I'm using a little Zonin Prosecco today. I'm going to be topping that off. Oh, actually, I forgot my Giffard Pomplamousse. That's the other kicker to this, a little grapefruit. Giffard Pomplamousse Rosé Liqueur. Uh, this is another one of my favorites with my little jigger. I'm going to put an ounce of this in. That's going to give me really kind of complex flavor. And I'm going to top that off with some sparkling. Add a little stir, you get a beautiful, complex, unique, fresh, vibrant, spicy, nice celebratory drink for Valentine's Day. Great for brunch, great for lunch, great for dinner, good with Netflix. Mm. Really, really happy with that one. The last one, so that one is a wine cocktail, and now my next two are going to be a low ABV and a no ABV because since these are such high quality juice based products, one, my daughter likes to drink them right out of the bottle. They are absolutely drinkable, but they are not juice, they are a mixer, they're juice based mixers. So to drink them right out of the bottle is a little rich, they're meant to be diluted a bit with, and mixed with other things so that that flavor can expand quite a bit. So they're a great base for making unique non-alcoholic drinks, of course, cut it with just some water or some sparkling water and you've got something really nice and beautiful. Um, but you can mix it with any kind of sodas or teas, uh, add a little bit of syrup to create different flavors. Uh, so what I'm going to do here with a low ABV drink is I'm going to use some of our pineapple and ginger, another double gold award winner. Nice fresh pineapple flavor with a little bit of ginger spice, and um, that is the I call this the Playa Andaluz, and it's a, a two ounce mix of this. And I'm not going to uh, shake this either. Uh, this is going to go right into a wine glass, and then on top of that, I'm going to add two ounces of Fino Sherry. And actually, today I've got some Manzanilla from Aurora. Uh, so some Montanilla or some Fino gives you all that real beautiful br uh, kind of bright, dry uh, flavor from sherry that is just amazing for cocktails with citrus, I think, and, and it's so uh, universally, universally applicable to anything that's citrus-based. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put four ounces in there like that. Now. This being a wine cocktail is perfectly fine just like that. Uh, the sherry is going to give us that dilution and help bring the, the fruit forward. Oh, that just brings me back to Jerez de la Frontera. Makes me want to eat some fish by the ocean. It's also quite good with just putting some ice into it. Again, beautiful out by the pool on the back deck. Any time of day, refreshing, fruity, complex, unique, quite a bit earthy from that sherry. Oh, just so good. And now my last drink is gonna be the non-alcoholic drink. And this is, I, we've been posting on the Fresh Victor Instagram account, which if you go over there, that's at Fresh Victor Cocktails is our Instagram account. Uh, I've been putting on some tonics. I did a series of mixing 
fresh victor with different kinds of tonic waters to create complex flavors because the, the tonic industry these days is really coming up with some great flavors that have lots of complexity to them. And when you add those to cocktails across the board, you're gonna get some really nice, unique things. And so just adding a tonic to a fresh victor gives you the fresh fruit flavor of fresh victor with those botanicals and the, that bitterness from quinine and the tonic, it makes for a really nice complex sure, drink. So I'm gonna put that in a tall glass right here. I'm gonna just build this right over ice and so easy. No. Nice tall glass of ice. No old pork. Cucumber and lime. No old pork. Now the cucumber and lime doesn't come in our six pack. If you order the six pack variety pack uh, due to shipping complications, uh, we could only put six in a box. So all seven of our products are indeed available on our website at shop.freshvictor.com. But if you get the rainbow pack of six different flavors, you won't get the cucumber. Cucumber is available, and you can buy six of them in its own package. But uh, we're also available at a growing number of retail outlets throughout the country, especially right now in Northern California, uh, at Drager's, uh, Molly Stone's, a few other shops around the area. So I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to do three ounces of fresh Victor cucumber in line. And I'm going to dilute that. And this is a you know, 10 and a half ounce glass. I'm going to dilute that with some time. And again, I'm using some Q. I'm using the Q light tonic. Again, lower calorie, skinny drink. Great for cocktail menus with wanting some complexity for some low. Uh, no ABV drinks or mocktails, as well as uh, skinny drinks, lower calories, lower sugar content. And give that a little bit of a stir, like so. And you could garnish that with a, a lime or a cucumber slice, however you like. Nice and crisp, refreshing. Uh, that cucumber comes through, it's just always just that kind of spa cocktail experience with those, that bitterness cuts the sugar down and uh, gives all that nice, beautiful complexity. Again, a great drink. So those are the six recipes that I posted on um, online today, both on my personal uh, Instagram account, which is at Cocktail Ambassadors. Um, the San Francisco World Spirits Competition has reposted that, so just go to the feed. You'll see the actual written recipes out there. Uh, this video will be saved for uh, eternity, <laughs> and uh, I'll have the other stuff on, on my website as well. We'll have them up on Fresh Victor. And I'm gonna make one more quick drink for you today uh, to show you our seventh product. This one did not get an award because we didn't enter it. Uh, we weren't able to enter at the time, but we'll get there. Um, and this is another delicious product called Three Citrus and Mint. It's got lemon, lime, and orange with fresh mint right next to the farm. I'm just gonna put our two to one recipe. That's our go-to. Everything across the board mixes beautifully two to one. So three ounces of fresh Victor, ounce and a half of booze, and you've got a cocktail. So I'm just gonna make this Three Citrus and Mint Margarita. I'm putting it an ounce and a half of tequila. And what I like to do with this, I call it the, the Menta Marga. Um, and uh, we will, on our Fresh Victor account, be posting some photos and a recipe for upcoming National Margarita Day. I would normally serve this drink with uh, a glass that's been rimmed with a mixture of dried mint leaves, salt, fine salt and fine sugar, super fine sugar. I mix those three into a rimming plate, put a rim on it. And, th and that dried mint is just a, uh, a mint tea bag. I just opened a mint tea bag and mix that in with those. Let's give us a shake. Now one other thing real quick about the shake and the dilution, I mentioned that as a mixer, we are not, um, we're, we're meant to be diluted a bit and you get that from the shake, but if you don't have a cocktail shaker and you want to make your cocktails even easier and you don't just want to shake, just add some water. Generally speaking, 15 to 20% of the total volume um, would add water. So if you just, if you think about the fact that if you use the three ounces of fresh Victor, ounce and a half of booze, and then you shake it with ice, put it over, over ice in a big glass, you get full. All you have to do is just put that in the glass, 
put your ice in, fill it with water, give it a stir, you've got your dilution, you've got your chill, you don't need a cocktail shaker. It's mu much easier, just real quick and easy. It's just the way to go. That's the thing about Fresh Victory, is we make co craft cocktails easy and fresh and delicious. Thank you for joining me here today. Again, please follow Fresh Victor Cocktails on Instagram. Go check out our website at freshvictor.com. Thank you, San Francisco World Spirits Competition, for allowing me to take over today and show people some of these great drinks. Please follow us. Please buy us. Please spread the word. Have a great weekend. Thanks, everybody.